decided they had the longest arms to reach out and make a difference because at one day and one time in our lives, we're all going to be patients. And this could happen to any one of us unless we change the culture of medicine. And making a donation to the foundation is, I felt was critical for them to continue um, in their search for the answers to preventable medical harm. I think emotionally, it's important to hear the individual stories because you can talk about things in a general way and give a lot of people statistics, but it doesn't mean as much as the reactions we get when people hear the stories and the comments we get from people, how either they can identify with it or it's made them think or made them work on it because it is painful to rehash the story every time we do it, but we feel like it's really important to put the specific information out there so that people can identify with it and take it back and take it home and work with it. It's also sort of a, um, because we live it every day, we can, and because we were treated so well by the institution we were at, we can be a positive voice for changing harm and for the way people are treated with respect after harm hurts versus just being told something happened and let go. So I think there's a whole way of treating people after harm occurs. And I think that's a big part of what we want to see is people treating other people as human beings and respecting them and fulfilling their needs. So going out and trying to get patient safety across, trying to get the number down to zero. I know 2020 was supposed to be the year of zero and now it's been moved to 2030. And I do have to say that was quite a disappointment to hear that we haven't gotten there yet. We've been working on it for a long time. So I will say, I hope at least by 2030, that is the year. And people need to make the time and the investment to make the change happen. And the only other thing I'd like to add to that is, you know, the foundation is a nonprofit. And in order to operate and staff with some of the greatest experts in the world, um, it takes money. And um, I felt it was necessary for me to contribute. And, you know, I look at, you know, some of the um, health systems and they can afford it. And they can afford to do monetarily what they, they should do to help people like myself and the families who have lost loved ones. And um, I would encourage everybody to get involved. And if you can't spend the time in the end, um, you don't have the time, at least you know, make a financial contribution to keep this organization alive and pursuing their, their cause.